Welcome back, my friends. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm a little chilly today because Rigo Fix is freezing me, but it's okay. I'm like the, the Swiss snow in the Alps when I cracked my ribs. More importantly, I got Derek on camera today and you wanna hear about HWR, not my cracked rib, not my, my sledding through the Alps and my experiences there, not even that I'm freezing to have chill bumps everywhere because this is about manufacturing and this is about HWR. The first question I have, Derek, there's a lot of work holding out there, my friend. A lot of it. A lot and of it, yeah. work holding is so very important because I've run machines before that were gripping onto a part and they got ripped right out because they weren't being held on correctly. That's right, yeah. Where do you think HWR really stands out in the world of work holding? Well, there's a lot of, a lot of key points I would focus on, but uh, to be honest, it's really our modularity and our what sets us apart, our con internal components that separate us from the competition. Um, and just the reliability and precision in our products. So it's a really good uh, focus for us to be, um, you know, thinking about our customers' needs, right? It's very important if you buy an expensive machine, but then your work holding doesn't complement that machine very well, and that's just a shame to see, right? You go into some of these shops and, and they're just, you know, they have this beautiful machine and then an old nasty vice or, you know, just no quick change where you're losing, losing money, losing opportunity. So it's important for us to focus on those things. You are already speaking my language, Derek, because I've said it before. I will again. I will tomorrow and the next day. You have already touched on my pet peeve. These companies out there who buy a machine and then skimp out on the products that go inside of the machine exactly. and work holding is so very important. I, I, I laugh a little bit. I was laughing on the inside, trying not to make too much noise while you said that yeah. that rusted vice, that, that beat up vice that's in a machine, but it's so true. And then as we move into what's important now, Derek, and I know this is important to you as well, it's the modularity, as you mentioned, and being able to take a vice off, put a new one on, keep the machine spindle running, whether we're on pallet change systems and moving in new parts for a high mix, low volume, whether we're on, a say, a three-axis three axis machine, and we're trying to get on that table and get that spindle up and going again, it's all very important to be accurate, modular, flexible. This is all what HWR does, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, just to fit together like Legos, right? You got one job here and the next one's completely different, different size, whatever it is, needs a new setup, you can do it in a couple seconds. Let's go over some of these products. Yeah, I know that we want to look and see what you actually have on the table. I'm excited to learn more. I know the audiences as well. You have a couple of very specific lines we're going to go over today to go Correct. along with the quick chain system. Yeah, so uh, HWR, we have two main lines. Uh, the solid line is, is our milling products here, and this includes our quick change plates and our vices. Um, so again, for any of your milling machines that you, that you need quick change or just high precision work holding, this is exactly where you want to be at. Um, and for instance here, if you could, could you hold my mic for just Absolutely, my friend. And then, um, you know, you got this here, this quick change plate is kind of where it would all start. The Legos begins here. And then you have your plate off to the side here if you need to pop that on there, lock it down and you're ready to go within a few, just a few seconds there. And, um, and so that's, you know, Pretty self-explanatory, it repeats within five microns and, and what kind of sets us apart from the competition are the internal components in these plates. We just have two wedges here and a center spindle that runs through the plate and uh, that's it. It's easy to replace if you have a heavy-handed operator who might get a little heavy with the <laughs> torque wrench or uh, anything like that. Easy to replace any of those internal components. Um, and so that's pretty much, you know, our, our quick change plates they come in the standard 52 96 millimeter pattern which is the industry standard seemingly now and um, as far as vices go it's a self-centering vice um, uh, very similar to a lot of things out there on the market again repeats at five microns high precision um, high quality vice come in the 46 uh, millimeter wide 77 or 125 is that big guy right there um, that's one of our biggest vices that we sell, and um, it's just a monster in my opinion. So, Derek, when I look at some of this, I'm actually going to uh, admit to something, is I always thought it was better to over-torque everything and realize later in my career that is not the case. Not the case. So I would have been that guy that needed to call you and ask for a repair. That's a pricey habit, my friend. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> the other thing I noticed is I'm seeing some teeth on each of these, but I'm also seeing 
uh, some dovetail in here as well. So for my softer materials, maybe I'm gripping the teeth and for my harder materials, I'm getting a little dovetail in there, both for rigidity. So yes, exactly. And actually not displayed here is um, our stamping unit, which actually pre indents a part and eliminates the need for a dovetail. And it matches our serration. So your repeatability is there. And also, uh, you know, your tools are gonna last longer. There's less vibration on the part. It's just uh, a system I would recommend. And all these parts here are pre-stamped. And as I'm looking at most of these, I, this is like almost a mini tombstone. Exactly. I'm looking at milling right here, but if I slide over to this side, it looks like you're working on maybe a turning center, or even if you wanted to utilize a chuck in a vertical milling center, you could. Exactly. But ultimately, this one looks a little bit different from everything else we were looking at on the other side. Right, and so this actually takes uh, us into the inner line, which is all our turning products. And this here is actually um, just a manual version of our chuck. And, and the unique thing about our chucks is they're self-centering and compensating and so the way it's designed these two jaws work codependently so one side will move in and the other side uh -huh. as soon as it senses any amount of pressure the other side will come in and clamp it and again this repeats at five five microns just like all of our products here um, so that's that's kind of an HWR specialty something that really sets us apart from the competition you know, I was going to make a really bad dad joke about having to go to India so many times because I wish I was self-balancing as well. But <laughs> this technology is real. I don't think I've seen this before, and that's quite clever. Yeah, yeah. Those, those guys are smart over there. And, um, and then the other thing that we have, if you have a three-jaw chuck and you're, you, you know, have a deformation-sensitive part, thin-walled, you can take your jaws off your three-jaw and pop this bad boy right on there using HWR's special technology there, and it will sit on your chuck and it can swivel to make sure that the part is uh, compensated for and um, you know, change your contact points from three to six. And so those are the, those are the main products in our uh, inner line that uh, really set us apart. You know, Derek, you, you started this conversation off by allowing me to ask you the question of what sets you apart, what makes you different, what makes you superior product for folks who might be interested in HWR, and you said modular and flexibility and reliability, and you just proved all of that by being able to switch out jaws, by being able to quick change on a zero point, by utilizing uh, you know the teeth as well as the dovetail. All of this seems like whatever is going on in my shop, you have an answer for as far as work holding. Now, maybe not all the problems I got going on in the back, but when it That's comes to holding story. piece of yeah. material, right? <laughs> yep. You can handle that. Exactly, 100%. And it's, it's, you know, that's really important to us to be able to make sure that any initial investment you have with maybe another work holding company or us, we can make sure we can come in there and accommodate all your needs. It's really important for us to be able to make sure that we're not making customers overspend for anything. You know, we don't want to do that. Shops need to make sure the bottom line's correct, and uh, we're here to help with that too. So. Yeah, very well said. And the last thing I want to ask you, Derek, as we look around, and obviously our cameraman's working his butt off for us today, <laughs> spinning all the way around and, and getting real close on your products. But in doing so, he's also, also showcased the fact that we are at RegoFix today, and there are a lot of partners around. So my question about partnership when it comes to HWR and RegoFix is, what is this like for you? Why did you guys get together and, and the benefits of working together with yeah. like-minded precision companies? Right, so we're relatively new in the U.S., and we wanted to make sure that our outreach was, um, you know, we're, we're utilizing every channel we could to make sure the word got out about us. And then when we met the guys at Rego Fix, we, we saw a great opportunity to be able to partner with them, show our products off, and also get their expertise, right? Somebody that knows machining and can combine that with our work holding to make a really great um, relationship between the two of us. And it's been a great experience so far, and uh, we're really glad to be partnered. Yeah, and I agree. And part of the pet peeve that I mentioned earlier, and I think Rego Fix shares some of that, is let's make the inside quality as good as the outside quality of the machines that we're investing in. HWR does that. Obviously, Rego Fix does that. The power grip is making sure that we all have the rigidity and quick change we need, much like the quick change we have here. It all comes together. It's it all a family at this point. And yeah. every single piece of this family is making you better in your shops as well. This is my buddy, Derek. This is HWR. This is modular, flexible, and quick change systems for your factory, your machine shop to make sure you're going to improve and do well moving into the future. So Derek, thank you so much for your time. I Thanks, absolutely Sonny. appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm going to run out into the sun. I got to warm up. I still am cold. Whew.